Hey everyone, it is Kenny with RocketCityTactical.com and one of our topics of discussion this week has been how to continue training with the ammo shortages and skyrocketing ammo prices and everything like that. So one of the best ways to continue training amidst all this is dry fire training. Um, so when I started out with handguns and firearms, uh, I had the same problem that plagues a lot of newer shooters. Uh, for a right-handed guy shooting low left, for a left-handed guy shooting low right. So one of the ways that I combated this was with a coin drill dry firing at home in my free time. And uh, that's what I'm going to go over with you guys a little bit today. We're going to talk about the coin drill. So before we do any type of dry firing drill whatsoever, the first thing we need to do is make sure our weapon is clear. We don't need any negligent discharges attempting dry fire exercises. So always make sure your weapon is clear, safety is paramount. Uh, so the purpose of this coin drill is to help with your grip and trigger mechanics. And we'll talk about grip mechanics. Uh, so proper grip mechanics with a handgun you want to get high up on this beaver tail here with the web of your hand, your strong hand. You want to get as high up in that beaver tail as possible, right? We want to get a good, firm grip with our strong hand. Now, here you see we've got open space on the other side of this grip. This is where our weak hand is going to come in. We want to fill as much of this space as possible and get a good, firm grip on that firearm. This is going to help with recoil mitigation, which is extremely important. Recoil is simple physics. It's going to follow the path of least resistance. So a good grip and covering as much of that area as you can is going to reduce the recoil and make it more manageable. So what we wanna do with the coin drill, the goal here is to be able to balance a coin or an empty shell casing or pretty much anything that you can balance on that front sight post. Get our sight picture and pull that trigger without dropping that coin or that shell casing or whatever it is that we have on that front sight post. Now what this is going to do is it's going to reinforce good trigger mechanics and it's going to keep you from slapping the trigger which typically results in that low left or low right pattern. So again, make sure your weapon's clear. And we're gonna place our penny on our front sight post. I'm gonna get it balanced, drive the weapon out, get a good sight picture, pull the trigger. Now you see the, the coin is still balanced on that front sight post. And that's what you want. If you do this properly with proper grip and a nice clean trigger pull, that coin or that shell casing or whatever you're using will stay balanced on that front sight post. Now, if you come in and slap the trigger, the coin is going to fall off. And that's the purpose of this drill, is to prevent you from slapping the trigger and to improve your grip mechanics. Anyway, guys, it's Kenny with RocketCityTactical.com. Dry fire, dry fire, dry fire. Keep training, always keep improving, keep getting better. Uh, if you like the video, please give us a like, give us a, a subscribe, thumbs up, comment, all that good stuff. And check us out at rocketcitytactical.com. Um, you can become a member of the site, join our forums. And if you guys really want to support the channel, you can get our B is for Boogaloo t-shirts or Mr. Rogers Stay Strapped Get Clapped t-shirts uh, on the website. Uh, buying a t-shirt is a great way to help support the site and, and keep us running. Anyway, guys, stay frosty, keep shooting, and we'll see you next time.